kind of feel like a bogan right now. I've literally got on Ugg boots, jeans with rips in the knees, a white tee, this flannelette, and a beanie. But I feel like I'm rocking more of a classy uh, version of a bogan <laughs> today. Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we have another book haul because I like to buy books and I have no self-control. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and uh, let's just get straight into my winter book haul. So the first book that I purchased should come as like no surprise to anybody was A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas, which is the third and final book in the Akatar series. I have already read this book. Like I spoke in my makeup book tag video, I absolutely loved the ending and everything that happened with the characters and I just, it was, it was brilliant. The next book I picked up is Legion by Julie Kaguas. This is the fourth book in her Talon series, sorry, the Talon Saga. It says saga down the bottom. I can read. Um, so yeah, this book series is about dragons. So basically, in our world, there are this, this group in society who are actually dragons and they can turn into humans. Like, the dragons are sort of like against society. They want to rule society. They want to be in charge. They hate the fact that um, they have to hide who they really are for humanity because they think that humans are beneath them and that they are better than humans. So I'm interested to see what happens next in this book series. So then because I lack complete and utter self-control, and I know I've said this like multiple times, but I do actually mean it and maybe you'll believe me, but when I was going to buy A Court of Wings and Ruin, I realised that they had released a Court of Thorns and Roses, and A Court of Mist and Fury, and A Court of Wings of Ruin. Of Wings and Ruin, I just fucked that up because I was too busy being like excited about this. They released them in hardcover. I caved. I so caved. I ended up buying <laughs> A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury, both from um, QBD, and then I picked up A Court of Wings and Ruin, also by Sarah J Maas, from uh, Dimmicks because I had $12 credit at Dimmicks so I ended up getting this hardback for $14 and I'm not gonna lie it was one of the greatest book purchases of my life and I have no regrets that I now own her entire six shit. Yeah I'm so excited that I own all of these books in a hardcover now. If anyone is sitting here saying Nicole that was a waste of money, no it's not because guess who's going to reread the entire series again in the hardcover edition? this girl. So I don't regret any of this purchase like at all. They are gorgeous covers, they sparkle more and thank you Dimmix and QBD and whoever the hell was responsible for this decision in bringing Sarah J Math books in hardcover because it's the greatest decision that I think has ever been made in regards to my life and book buying purchases because I now have them on my shelf. $40 for two hardbacks. Yeah I bought it. Mate I spend 20 bucks on paperbacks sometimes. So yeah, I don't regret this decision, like, whatsoever. The covers are so much prettier. So the next book I picked up was Always and Forever by... Let's try that again. Always and Forever, Lara Jean by Jenny Han. And yeah, so this is the third and final book in the To All The Boys I've Loved Before series by Jenny Han. Um, it's a contemporary series. I quite enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed the whole series, I think. That this was my favourite one in the series, I have read it, um, <laughs> I couldn't help myself, it's an easy to read, like, contemporary, you, you guys can read these in, like, a day, not even that. Um, I really liked the ending and how everything wound up being put together, and I just, uh, it's just, they're just gorgeous, simple, easy reads, and I always enjoy, enjoy them, it gets me laughing, and, yeah, I'm quite happy with the conclusion and the ending of this series. I have no complaints with it. The next book that I purchased was Black Moon by Romina Russell. Now, this is the third book in the Zodiac series. It says on the front it's a Zodiac novel. Um, they were in my last book haul video, like from three, four weeks ago. And uh, I still haven't picked up the series yet because the fourth and final book I'm pretty sure gets released in August, so I have no intentions really reading this series until it's closer to August and I just want to say that if anyone remembers from my last book haul video I said like how I thought there was a 13th sign that comes and fucks shit up well I just want you to know that on the front here it says beware the 13th sign so my guess and my theory was in fact correct because 
there is a 13th sign and they clearly fuck shit up. So, my guess was correct for once, because normally I'm wrong. Okay, and then the final book that I have hauled and I've bought, and like, once again, like, same with the Quarter Wings Reel, no one should be surprised by this. It is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. I already read this book. Holy shit. This series is like amazing. Like, if you've never read any of the Shadow Hunter novels, honestly, I don't know what you do with your life. To be honest, in regards to reading books, like, my god, like Cassandra's writing is so good. It's so much better in this book. This book was amazing. I loved it. I think I enjoyed it more than Lady Midnight, which is saying something because I quite enjoyed that book. And um, I'm glad that like Emma stops being stupid. And can I just say that I feel like Cassandra Clare is turning into that author who kills off like every character you become attached to. People die in this book and I wasn't expecting it. And there's a lot of dickheads in this book, can I just say? Like those centurions who come into this book who are like the elite shadow hunters just need to remove the stick that they all have shoved up their asses out of it. I would very much appreciate that because you're all assholes and the fact that none of you died was probably the greatest disappointment of this book. I mean personally if I was a shadow hunter I would have just stabbed like Zara Dearborn right in the heart and been like die bitch. So yeah I don't know. <laughs> Did thoroughly enjoy the book though. Okay so they are all of the books. This seems like a really short haul for me. I don't think I've talked as much as I normally do. So I'm gonna pick them up now. Cause you know, you gotta get that thumbnail picture. A Court of Wings and Ruin had a fucking bright red sticker on it. If anyone has me on Instagram, Instagram, you would know it had a bright fucking red sticker on it being like, meet Sarah J Bass. And I'm like, I don't wanna meet her because she let you put a fugly ass red sticker on the front of my book. Couldn't you have made it a stupid fucking bookmark and stuck it inside? Why do you have to do a stupid fucking sticker that I have to peel off and I've got stupid residue and it's sticky? So, um... God damn it! My base failed me. You know, the fact that I think it lasted after I was just bitching about the fact there was a sticker on a quarter of ruin, a quarter of wings and ruin is probably like the reason it was karma. Let's do this real quick and then I'm gonna go. Okay. Here we go. Woo! All my books. How pretty do they look? Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I will see you in my next video, and I'm gonna go before I drop the rest of these books. <laughs>